Hi, this is Alesh from Ripoli and I would like to share with you an interesting approach on uh, automated UI testing, uh, which I uh, just recently started using. And let's say I've got a web app, which after login uh, gives you some initial info. Yeah. And uh, usually what happens is that I mess up some CSS or something like that, and this page does not look the same anymore. Uh, so what can we do? I can use this tool for uh, testing called Playwright, uh, which is uh, scripting for Chromium. Uh, you can find it on GitHub. And you practically automate your, uh, your tests. So like clicking the buttons or uh, inputting stuff and uh, uh, anything else which you would do as a tester. So uh, what happens here is that you got this script uh, which you write uh, against your page. Uh, I then save the page as current and compare it to my uh, original page to the correct one. This should be the correct one. The current one is practically the same. And uh, we write a diff and uh, count the colors on the diff. And if there are uh, any differences between the pages, they would show up in red by default. So there are no differences and our test passed. Now, what happens if I uh, uh, by some mistake, uh, do some error in my final uh, CSS. So after reloading the app, we see that all divs are blue. Cool. Now let's run the test. And the test should fail. And it did fail. Why? Because as you can see here, the correct image is still the same. The current one has got blue divs in the background and the div is red. And so the test decides that uh, if we dis find this RGB in, in the final div, that this test fails. Uh, the only thing to show here is this uh, scripting, which is pretty hard to do by hand. So you are selecting your uh, web page and some selectors and clicking and typing in your numbers and stuff like that. Uh, it turns out, let me just quickly bring this back to original state. Uh, so uh, this stuff is this stuff is much easier to use if you've got this uh, headless recorder by checking and you simply uh, record your steps. So my steps are the following, uh, type in the number and save the page and this should come up. Yeah? And then I stop recording and copy to clipboard. You may use Playwright or Puppeteer, which is another option. I'm using Playwright and copy the stuff to, to, uh, to my clipboard. And just, I could now, let's say, uh, replace this stuff here. Yeah. So this is using Chromium uh, launching uh, local host 5000. Uh, I use just a different size here. But you can see that those uh, weight uh, for selectors are uh, pretty much the same. Yeah. So that's basically it. That's how easy it is to automate your UI testing and uh, find the results of your uh, of your testing should be uh, visible immediately. My tests pass. Yeah. See you.